The Heritage High shooter is free on parole tonight. T.J. Solomon walked out of prison today after spending more than half of his life locked up. Channel 2 investigative reporter Mark Winnie broke news of his release on Twitter, and he's live in downtown Atlanta with some of the special conditions Solomon will face. Mark? Close to 15 years after the filing of his amended sentence, a parole certificate. Now it is up to the Georgia Department of Community Supervision to keep tabs on T.J. Solomon now that he's free. One of his lawyers says she hopes T.J. Solomon's morning release on parole from Phillips State Prison is the dawn of a new day for the people he hurt, dawn of a new life for Solomon, who wounded six at Heritage High School in Rockdale County when he was 15. A document reflects a plea of guilty but mentally ill. Can the victims feel like they got justice? I think so. Um, I realize how impacted the high school was. The victims who were shot. We're going to, to supervise this case very, very closely. Uh, he will be on our maximum level of supervision, which is a specialized caseload. Georgia Department of Community Supervision official James Hill, who told us Solomon did 17 years of his 20 year prison sentence stemming from the shot Solomon fired that day, says he's on parole now, then goes to probation. The probation uh, phase of his case will last until May of 2064. From the beginning, TJ took responsibility. I spoke to Jana Harris, a member of Solomon's legal team years ago. He's a changed man. And more than 16 years ago, I spoke to his mom and stepdad. This is a child that woke up one morning and literally broke. He just kept saying, I don't know what happened. I don't know why. They have a strong faith. Uh, they love him very much. Hill says a visit to his mom's house by a DCS officer hours after the release was but one of many that will happen. And special conditions on his parole certificate include voice recognition monitoring, never setting foot on public school grounds in Georgia again, no contact with any victims listed in the indictment and mental health assessment. Now, Ms. Harris says she wants to be sensitive to the great loss suffered by those who were injured, but that she believes justice has been served and that Solomon will abide by the law. She worked on that case with famed defense lawyer Ed Garland and uh, Don Samuel, another noted attorney also with that firm. Reporting live, Mark Winnie, Channel 2 Action News.